Hi and welcome to another episode of Troubleshoot This. This one is dedicated to our uh, demographic out there who has the Kronos systems and are having problems with their RGB uh, light setup on their system. So just to give you a quick look, we have a Kronos right here. And if I turn the system on, you can see our three front lights, RGB fans are spinning and working. However, the back one right here is uh, it's definitely spinning, but there's no light on it. So we're going to fix that, and I'm going to show you a tip on troubleshooting your lights. Let's start by turning the system off. And once the system is off, you're you're gonna have to take the panel off of uh, this side here, so we can gain access. Let me see, let me get a clearer setup here. We can gain access to our RGB controller here. Okay, this is uh, this is the RGB controller board for the uh, the Chronos. It is very important to take note of what I'm going to say right now because if you are troubleshooting it, there is an order on uh, the, the plugs on where these should be plugged in so they would connect to each other, uh, pass on the signal on what the, uh, uh, the patterns are and make it go to the other fans that are part of the chain. So for example, like right now our back fan is not working this is the cable for the back fan. Now you notice it's on the middle here. Um, and this is very easy. All you have to do is unplug it and then transfer it to the one up top. The reason why is because the pattern for this specific controller for the lights to work properly um, goes as a um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's that's mainly the the pattern of when or I mean uh, where you should plug in the fan because if you skip one of these then this will not work along with the rest here. So if you only have one or two fans these two here will need to be populated first. And as you add more fans in we can do them on here, here, here and here. So now that we have transferred that there everything should work fine but another troubleshooting step you can take for example your front middle fan is not working which is this one uh, you can go ahead and unplug that and I mean if the top one is working it lights up and it spins we know this is good so if you are having trouble with this or that what you can do is basically to unplug the one that works and then transfer the one that's not working to that connection and from there you can see if this the fans will spin if the lights will uh, will glow if I can just plug this in give me just a second it's kinda hard being behind the camera and doing this oh I am unplugging the wrong one sorry <laughs> all, right, all right all right that wasn't the one that wasn't the one. this is the one the three fan connections so if this is having an issue, unplug that and then transfer that to here and then see if that fan, the middle fan now spins and has lights on it. If it does, then your fan is good. There's probably something wrong with the uh, controller. If it still replicates the, f the issue that it was having when it was plugged in here, then you are having an issue with the fan and RGB in it. So let me try and struggle here again. Come on, okay. So, there we go. Okay, now that it's all sorted out, excuse me for that little <laughs> struggle there. <laughs> hey, we gotta, we gotta film this live, right? Can't have all perfect shots and everything. Okay. All right, we are zooming out and getting a shot of our Kronos here. Make sure the power is on. Remember that plug that was in the middle, we transferred it to the top and now we have a fully working RGB array. You can now press on the button 
change the lights, change the patterns. There you go. All set. Alright, well, that is pretty much it for now as far as troubleshooting the RGB lights on your Kronos system. If you have any more questions, post them down in the comments below or get in touch with us and we will help you as soon as possible. Hope this video helps. My name is Chris and we'll see you on the next episode.